This story is called Moses the Leader. This story tells us what happened after Moses went back to Egypt. Moses went to Egypt and met with the leaders of the Hebrews, the children of Israel. His brother Aaron told them how God had spoken to Moses, promising to free his people from slavery. Moses performed miracles in front of the people, and they believed and worshipped God. They then visited Pharaoh and asked him to let the people go into the desert to make sacrifices to God. Pharaoh was furious. I will make their work even harder. They will have to gather the straw themselves and still make the same number of bricks, bellowed Pharaoh. Pharaoh would not let them go. God reminded Moses of his promise to free his people. Pharaoh's heart was hard and cruel. He refused to listen to Moses and Aaron. So God told Moses what to do. When Pharaoh went out to the river in the morning, Aaron stretched out his staff over the water the water of the river immediately turned to blood. The fish died. There was no fresh water to drink for seven whole days. But still, Pharaoh was stubborn. The Lord sent more and more plagues, but each time Pharaoh refused to let the people go. Swarms of frogs covered the land, into the houses, into the beds, even into the ovens and the cooking bowls. Then gnats covered the people and the animals, and then came swarms of flies, which tormented the Egyptians but not the Hebrew people. The fifth plague that God sent to the Egyptians affected all of their animals. All of the horses, the donkeys, camels, cows, and sheep died. But the animals belonging to the Hebrews were spared. Still, Pharaoh did not get the message. So painful boils broke out on the Egyptians, and then Heavy hailstones flattened the crops. Pharaoh at last showed some remorse, but as soon as the hail stopped, he became hard-hearted again. Locusts plagued the land, eating any plant or leaf that was left after the hailstones. And then an intense darkness covered the land for three days. The Egyptians could not see each other or even move from their homes. God kept his own people, the Hebrews, free from all of these plagues.
I will send one more plague on Pharaoh and the Egyptians, God told Moses, and then he will let you go. Moses went to warn Pharaoh. At midnight, every firstborn child in every family will die. This was the most terrible punishment of all. But still, Pharaoh wouldn't listen. But God promised to keep his people safe. Moses passed on God's instructions for each family. The best lamb of the flock was to be sacrificed. The blood was then painted on the doorpost and the lintel of the house. When the angel of death passed through Egypt, he would pass over the houses that were marked with blood. The Israelite families ate a special meal that night of roast lamb, unleavened bread, and bitter herbs. Every year from then on, the Hebrew people held a special feast called the Passover feast, and they remembered what God had done for them. We must also remember what God has done for us in sending his son Jesus to save his people from their sins. Then, just as God had said, the firstborn son in every Egyptian family died. Even Pharaoh's son died. Pharaoh's son along with the son of the prisoner in the jail. There was great mourning and sadness throughout the land. But God kept his promise to the Hebrew people. Their children were safe. At last, Pharaoh changed his mind. Go and serve the Lord. Take your flocks and your herds with you. The Egyptians were now desperate to get rid of the Hebrew people. At last, God's promise came to pass. The people of God were set free from slavery in Egypt and started on their journey to the land of Canaan. God guided them with a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. The cloud in the daytime kept them cool and the cloud of fire at night kept them warm and safe. Once the Hebrew slaves were gone, Pharaoh had second thoughts. Who was going to do all of the hard work now? So Pharaoh sent soldiers after them to bring them back. But God was looking after them, and he miraculously helped them to escape. God used his servant Moses to carry out his plan to save his people from cruel slavery in Egypt. Although Moses didn't feel fit for the task, God always helped him. Remember that God is always able to help us, too, even when we have a hard job to do. Many more adventures followed as Moses and the Hebrew people traveled on. But God had a wonderful plan to save his people from slavery. His son, the Lord Jesus Christ, would come to this world to die for the sins of his people. 